Welcome back, everybody, uh, or welcome if it's your first time watching my videos. Uh, my name is Ivan. Ivan Patch is my artist name. I sell art at conventions, art that I make. But uh, I have Brick City Anime Festival in Ocala, Florida this weekend. It is set up day, Friday, uh, February 9th, I believe. So um, as my norm, the car is all packed. Uh, I'm returning to this con. It'll be my third time going to this con. And I used to live in Ocala, so not much of an expense for me. I have a place to stay. Uh, I've done this con, like I said, three, uh, two times before. This will be the third. And it's, you know, a decent show. It's, you know, if you're traveling far, I wouldn't recommend it. But everyone has their own um, experience and their own take on what they think is a worth it or a worthy con. So, yeah. I'm excited to go back. There's a lot of voice actors this time around. I mean, a lot more than than before. Granted, this show does have a lot of voice actors that tend to go. Uh, one of them is Justin Cook, who did Yusuke Yurameshi in uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. And I grew up watching that. Um, it's one of my favorite animes. So I am excited. I do have a painting that I made for uh, his character. I will show you guys in a bit. So, um, you know, this is the first time that I'm actually all packed up the night before everything set i literally just was lounging around for the last hour usually that's not the case i'm usually sporadic and like putting everything packing everything making sure everything is ready to go because i'm always working down to the like last minute but because this show is usually not as huge financially for me as other shows and you know which isn't particularly bad it's just a, it's a local show um but i didn't have to work on too many things last minute i did have a show last week which was megacon uh, if you've seen the video before this um there was a lot to do there so with that show i overstocked so whatever i had left i could lean into this show so i didn't have to do too much decent week preparing uh i'm ready to go so i'm just gonna like just do some finals stuff, walk the dogs things like that and then i'll be heading out i'll show you guys more later Gianna, stop talking. We're here. We got to the con. Um, I didn't record much of the drive. There was no need. Um, so yeah, I got two tables this time. Lelaine was supposed to share with me. She can't come now, unfortunately. But so I got my two tables back. We're gonna make this look nice. Yeah, we're, we actually got decent parking because we got here before a lot of people showed up, so. This is my wagon. It got torn up. You would think I'd buy a new one and be smart. But um, it still works right now. I am going to buy a new one when the money can warrant it because I have to pay other expenses. But tell me how this looks so messed up. Yeah, I still use it. So maybe I'm being irresponsible. But yeah, I need to get a new one. So. We got here. I'm trying to rearrange, do a different setup. Because now that I have my printed canvases, I want to showcase them and not have them behind us. So this is what the space looks like right now. So I'm on the side, but I'll get up. This is what it looks like right now. We have two spots. There's this empty spot here. We want to put the grids here, but like I just don't know how to make it work without it interfering with the people behind us. So um, this is the struggle of Artist Alley. So I don't want to interfere with this person, and I don't want to interfere with them because they have to put stuff behind them. So the table goes out too far, I feel like. So yeah, this is what, this is what the struggles we're dealing with right now. I didn't show you guys how it looks, so this is how it's looking so far. But we're not fully done yet, but you know, most of it's done. Oh, that's a Yusuke painting I was telling you guys about earlier. And Gabi Maru next to him. They're both going to be at this con. But uh, I'll show you the rest tomorrow because I got to cover it up. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. We're just waiting on the lane. I mean, Elise. The lane's not here. Eric's just sitting there concentrating. <laughs> Saturday, day one, we are putting stuff together. Everything is kind of coming together. And then Elise, okay, Austin got in the way instead. Elise is, she got moved so she's across from us. And then our other friend is there. And then our other friend is there. So we are all in a nice, like, comfortable 
um, bro, I guess. And we all know each other, so. We're in a neighborhood. That's the best way to put it. And then my friend's actually behind us over here too. So it is convenient this weekend. Elise gave me these stickers. I'm giving them back. This is very important to the vlog. If you don't, it's very important. And now I'm doing this. If you guys don't write, this is so important to my vlog right now. Wait, where am I putting this? Oh. Look, I'm accomplishing great things, guys. This is all, this is all very important to the con. I can't grab it. Wait, put it in there? Hey guys, watch me put it in there. There, I did it. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna fix it right now. These are the little stickers I made. So when anyone spends, or buys anything from me that includes a Jujutsu Kaisen item, they'll get this Koji sticker. So, and then here's just my regular sticker that I just give out just cause of my little avatar logo guy. So yeah. So I'm creeping behind CJ and them. They don't know I'm recording behind them. I'm creeping out. Yep, I'm... He's talking though. I should stop doing this. Now CJ knows I'm recording him. I just recorded oh, a, yeah. a oh, few seconds ago. I'm recording. No. I was actually <laughs> recording earlier. I was like recording myself when you were talking to somebody. So I was like, let me not interrupt. But I was creeping. My voice carries. So <laughs> I will be in the background of all of your videos. Yeah. <laughs> Same with the music, honestly. Austin got his Persona 3 box uh, signed. And the one who the boy actually plays Akihiko, Alejandro. Yeah. So I'm a little I'm a little jealous. I'm so excited. So, He's such a very nice person. Yeah. So yeah, that's what he he said the line was pretty good. So we got some good voice actors this time. Gianna broke an apple with her hands at MegaCon, so she was doing it now. She's failing. Come on, girl, you can do it. I believe in your power. <laughs> I promise she did do it at MegaCon. Somebody was walking by and they're like, oh my God. Yeah, she broke it right in front of a customer and they were like, oh, Not snap. Happening. All right, well, she failed, she's giving up. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I'm standing at CJ's booth, okay? I think I showed you guys stuff before in other videos, but I'm gonna flip it around and show you the most of the rest. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit I'll be a little annoying because I have nothing to do right now. So hold on, hold on. Oh, we can do it. You can photobomb us. <laughs> but this is the Onigiri stand. CJ's work, okay? I love all these. I always go too fast when I do this, so that people go, I don't see anything. I'm like, okay, let me go slow. I love that Kirby one, though. Isn't the Kirby one game? Yeah. Yeah, have you seen my full spiel with the guy? I don't think so. So my Gachapon has gold and silver balls. If you get a gold ball, you get to trade your pin off the giant trading board. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> do, it again. Do, do that part again. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, you're a winner. You're a winner. Oh, yeah, I saw you do that earlier with someone. So I, did someone actually win in the game? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, okay. So, yes, this is their booth. This is his booth. We're standing in line to meet some voice actors. I met Justin Cook. I'll show you what he signed uh, later. I wasn't awkward, I was chill, okay? I was cool. I did good, see? Okay, so now yeah. So I'm gonna meet someone else now. How do you say his last name, actually? Saab. Alejandro Saab. Saab. Ale Alejandro Saab is who I'm meeting next. Who does Gabi Maru? Yeah.
the last day, which is day two, we are here. Ready to go, we got all our stuff. Um, I don't know where Elise went. Oh, she's right there. And Austin walked up, but we don't care about Austin right now. He got here way too early for no reason. Driving. Um, it's about two hours from where I'm at. And he lied. They said it was 1.5. Yeah. Now it's and two hours. I like seeing Ivan here so much. We had to put this chair to hold up the blanket because from far away, the blanket would just drop. So, a lot of you guys always ask me, like, what's the thing I hate doing the most, like, besides the art stuff? Because people think you just draw and that's it. Good morning so, again, everybody. Wait one second. <laughs> Perfect timing. There's my friend doing this too, but it's fine. This, this is what we hate, getting interrupted. Reagan, Murdoch, and Stop, Q&A will be starting. It's a big announcement. There's a lot going on here. Also, they don't, I, like, I like how Russ just faint. I know. I don't even know where he is. They don't let her do multiple ones, so uh, she has to do one big one yeah. every like 20 minutes. That's good though, because like last year it was It was like every constant. Yeah. constant. It was so loud. And that's my friend too. We're gonna pause. We're keeping all this. <laughs> Announcements are over. We're back. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. So, so I I want to ask CJ who's behind me. I want to give you stand. I show you guys stuff. What his what's his least favorite thing after the creative side to do for the business? So, what's your least favorite? This 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 thing. I don't mind the interview, but like what you do with it, editing, putting it, timing, booing the thing. I can't stand it. it. I I get no fulfillment out of it. I don't enjoy reels. I'm an old man. I hate that reels are on Instagram. But no, it's fine. See, I actually like real things. I don't. I can't. I can't do it. I, I'm bad at them. That's also okay, <laughs> I'm very bad at them. See, so, yeah. So, like, I get editing that. videos, not my jam. I would, I would much rather do literally anything. See, else. I'm the other Including way. Including my newsletter, which I have abandoned for a year. Oh, you do newsletter? I do. I used to. Oh. I still should. I got someone to sign up for yesterday, so I guess I ought to. See, I never did newsletter. Um, videos I like to do, so we're on the flip side. I, I teach English, so I'm writing. I would much rather write. Then, uh, oh, okay, then, okay, then okay. Video. Sorry, I said hi to somebody. Um, I okay. So my least favorite inventory. I hate putting things and I knew you. I knew it. You were the opposite. I knew he liked the inventory. I hate it. I hate going on the square on the iPad, typing everything in, making sure the count is right, all that. Uh, we do. We do it. We oh, do he it. does it. He does yeah, it. Hard, like with hard copy. See, I can't and do that I have that a giant Excel sheet. It breaks no. down like my cost and no. everything. Oh, mm. I can't do yeah, any no, of that. Eat it up, eat it up. I saw you guys doing yesterday and I asked Ross. I was like, wait, what is this? And he told me, I'm not doing all this paperwork. My husband wants me to keep track. It's not me. But yeah. So that's, that's our opinion there. I'll tell you guys. You guys message me a lot asking this. So so. Take that to the bank yeah. or wherever. Take mm -hmm. I don't know. They, they don't go to the bank anymore. What's, what's Digital bank? currency. In this economy? Yeah. yeah. He's in a catwalk. Oh, shit. Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> yes! 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 So my Gabi Maru and Sugi reprint is down to one left because everyone's been buying it for Gabi Maru because Alejandro is here. Uh, I had Chuya here from Bungo. That's gone now, sold out. Because Nicholas Holt is here. Wait, Holt, I think that's that name. Gojo's down to one left. Denji has two left. 
Uh, and I think I had a couple of these sell out. Grand Goku sold out. There was another one. But I can't remember which one it is. So you're going to watch me go through this book while I figure it out. Uh, oh, actually, Kaneki is down to one left. He's one left. I'm missing another. There's a couple more, but I can't recall. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I did sell out of my Kyo and Yuki. And I think... Oh, well, no. That one's already sold out. Hmm. That's what I can remember right now. But yeah, it's been, you know, a Sunday. It's been decent. It's not terrible. The con's been better than normal, so... But yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Oh, I did sell those two. Oh, you knew that already. I sold two canvases. So yeah. All right, it's the end of the day. I have a bunch of these left. I had a, I gave away a lot. I had, I think, 80, I think. I don't know how much is left here, but if I'm rest rough estimating, guesstimating, I think like 25 to 30 left. So I'm gonna get these out. Ready. Uh, oh. Now we're ready. Right, I'm gonna count them. If you can hear me, I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. <laughs> I was close. I said 25 to 30, 26. Bam. Okay, five minutes till. Gianna started packing up. If not, I didn't even ask her to. So that's a, such a great worker, helper. But uh, we're packing up. Um, it was better so far, better than last year. Give you guys more notes later. Gabi Maru didn't go, so I guess I got to hang him up at home for a minute. Right now the cosplay contest is going on, and there's the duckies. Only like two people found them, which is fine, but yeah. So uh, I'll tell you more later. I'm helping. I'm being annoying while she's packing up. Go pack up your own shit. I'm not gonna do anything. All right, it has been three weeks or more. Wait, it's been like a month since Brick City Anime Fest. I feel a little bad. I did record uh, this part already, but I accidentally deleted it without realizing I deleted it. And then when I realized it, as I was editing this, I had to do it again. And so it gave me time to think about it and really recollect on what I said. So I think this is more wrapped up, I guess. So I do have some words for how the show went. Like I mentioned before, I've done this show previous times. This was my third year doing the show. And it was different this time, different than what we expected, different than how it was before. You know, there were less artists and vendors this time around. Well, I can only speak for the artist part. I really can't say if there was less vendors, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there was less artists this time around. And a bigger crowd, bigger than what I'm used to and bigger than the previous years. So it was, I don't know, it was different. I don't know particularly what contributed to so many things going differently this time because the vibe was a little different as well uh with the less artists more people but we still had a good amount of voice actors which this con usually has a ton of voice actors and this time around that didn't change but there was just more energy more attendance you know the con's surely growing and then not to mention the row i was in was in a row with all my other artist friends and some i haven't known too well but we got to know each other being this close and even the rows were wider so people could come in and out without having to like stumble into someone else so that played a really big part and that was actually really fun if i'm being honest i loved all the conversations i was able to talk with people for a while and not worry about them having to get out of the way because there was people coming and there's nowhere anybody can fit i did get two tables this time and Lelaine was supposed to take the second one but unfortunately she couldn't come to the show so i was able to still use it and branch out like i did at megacon and i realized i'm really loving having two tables I kind of want to make it my norm. It's a little hard sometimes depending on the show, but with all the new work I'm having and stuff like that, it's just harder to fit everything in one table. I am taking some stuff away because I do think I have too many stuff, too many things. Like my five by seven prints, I think I have too many of those. So I'm gonna cut back on some of that and things like, and you know, things of that nature. But having two tables just, I think really works for the business. It really works for displaying everything and for my overall setup. 
So I'm gonna keep trying to do that. I don't know if I can, can always do it because some shows require more money up front or just overall kind of expensive at the time. Expenses are getting kind of high, so I may do where I can. To get back on the voice actor side, I was able to meet a couple of voice actors, some that I've been waiting for a while now. I'm usually not the first one to run to the voice actors, things like that. You know, they're cool and whatnot, but these ones in particular really are, they resonated with me. I did record a little bit right before I met Alejandro Saab, who plays uh, Gabi Maru in Hell's Paradise. I didn't really record those interactions because I wanted to keep them for me, and also I don't really know if that's okay, and, and I'm sure it probably costs money too and things like that, but I, I wanted to keep that for myself regardless. But Alejandro, I did have him sign my Gabi Maru and Sigiri print, which uh, I'm very excited about. He was super cool. We talked about, um, you know, just overall the series, and I actually did tell him that I actually thought, or I actually predicted he would play Gabi Maru when I was watching the anime Platinum End, because he played the main character, forgot his name. But we uh, kind of laughed about that, because I saw through the future, because I, when I watched that, I thought, oh, he would be great to play Gabi Maru, because I was reading the manga of Hell's Paradise at the time. So I saw the future, he was happy about that, and he was very thankful that um, I maybe manifested it. But I also met Justin Cook, who is a big part of my like, teenage years, because he was one of the original voice actors that I always heard in the Funimation dubs from anime back then. So he signed my Yusuke Yurameshi print from Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, I was very excited about that. I did have my friends with me. They were able to keep me in check or whatever. Even though I don't think I was weird, they like to act like I act all awkward when I meet them, but I wasn't. I was very calm, very chill. It was, it was good, good, fun interactions. I did forget to bring Pooh. Yes, his name is Pooh. P-U-U. I think it was two U's. Either way, I forgot to bring Pooh to meet Justin because Pooh is in uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. He is Yusuke's little spirit animal thing. But I completely forgot to bring him. I left him here at home. So, sorry, Justin. Those are two big highlights for the con for me. I am gonna get, I am gonna hang up the two prints that they had signed for me. Somewhere in the room, when it's organized, it's not organized right now. I literally have a show this week as I'm recording this. Literally tomorrow, well, I can up tomorrow. So the room's a mess, so what else is new? But I will hang these up uh, with pride. Probably next to my Chuya one, which is somewhere back there where you can't see because there's a glare. But I'll probably put it up there next to them. But yeah. One thing I am super embarrassed about is that when I pointed out that Nicholas Roy, I said his name Nicholas Holt. I know why I said that. There's another actor named that. I, I don't, I'm embarrassed by it. I want to forget it. But I know it's going to be hard because I already left it in the vlog. Speaking of him, though, what was what was really great about it after meeting voice actors was that he, I never, I didn't get a chance to actually go to meet him, but he came to our row just to talk. He talked with me and my friends and stuff for about 10 minutes or so, even more than that, honestly. It really felt like more than 10 minutes. But it was just very grounded conversation. It didn't feel transactional, which sometimes I, which is one reason why I don't like to always meet them, because it always feels like, oh, talking, here's that, sign this, and it's just, it just feels transactional and it's not my favorite thing, it's not organic, but talking to Nicholas uh, felt really organic and it was just awesome, it was just fun, we were just talking about things in general. He saw my work and he thought I had my Toji painting that I had a print for, but I sold that at Anime St. Pete in September, so I didn't have it, and he was a little disappointed because it seemed like he wanted it, I can't say for sure, but it kind of seemed like it. So that was a little sad, but overall it was it was a fun encounter, fun experience. One of the things that I am always super grateful for, and whenever it happens, I'm very excited, is when my patrons that are following me on Patreon show up at a con, because I get to just you know talk and see them in person again, but also get to give them their monthly rewards if if it falls around the time, instead of me having to send it and then wasting postage and then worrying if it's gonna get damaged in the mail, even though you write don't don't bend or it's fragile, put a sticker or whatever. We all worry about that. So I'm very happy when any of my patrons show up at a show so I can give them their reward. Ugh, it, it, it's, it's like the cherry on top. Saturday was a busier day than Sunday, which is, you know, seems to be kind of normal. But Sunday was also the Super Bowl. But even though it was Super Bowl, Sunday was still a pretty good day. It still had nice traffic flow. But Saturday was just very busy. Um, it was a good time. 
love talking. For the for the the buddy that I talked to about Gundam, I appreciate the conversation. He is gonna hold me accountable because I love to I would love to build some Gundam models and I never do. I do have a couple, but I have nowhere to put it, so I don't bend it. I don't build them. But he's gonna hold me accountable. I have to build one this year, so we'll see if I can get to it. And then talking with other people about Kaiju Number Eight, which comes out next month, and the manga being turned into an anime in October, uh, Don Daran. I have art for Kaiju Number Eight, and I'm gonna have art for Don Daran. And just the fact that I talked with some people who knew what they were really excited me because I feel like these series aren't being talked about enough right now, especially with Kaiju Number Eight coming out next month. Like it's going to be awesome. And I did have my print made last year, so I am pointing it out now. I have talked about these series, and I'm saying it now again. Read Kaiju Number Eight or watch the anime next month, and read Don Daran. The anime is coming out in October. I'm gonna have art for it. It's gonna be awesome. You gotta check it out. Again, I'm saying it now, so you can't say, "Oh, I never. You never talk about these shows." I have. I, I, I have, and I definitely talked about Kaiju Number Eight before. I know I talked about it on my social media. And I conned, and I again, I have art for it. I do want to show you some stuff that I got. Uh, I did buy these from CJ, who is uh, behind me, uh, who does only Geary stuff, which I showed his stuff already. But I bought these two pins from Revolutionary Girl Utena, classic 90s series. If you know, you know. But yeah, uh, Utena, Anthe, very excited. I, I love these. This anime needs more love. This, yeah, just check out his work. Then I also got this little gift from a friend of mine, uh, her art name Blazing Fox. I'll put her handle down here. I don't think I showed her art this video, but I'm sure I did at another video before. But she gave me this Midna pin from uh, Zelda Twilight Princess. It focuses, it has all the holographics if you can see it, but I don't know if you can. But I do love this. I was very excited to get it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I don't know where I'm gonna put any of these yet, but I do bring them to me. I do bring them with me to cons as of right now, as like good luck charm, sort of. But I'll find a space for it, I promise. So when I really think about the show this year, the one thing that does kind of stand out is that how significant, what a significant improvement it was from the previous years. You know, the first year was not bad, the second one wasn't not bad either, but they were just very average and kind of mid. But this year was just significantly better. Uh, I don't know if it's because it was less artists, I don't know if, I don't know what particular it was, but I do think having less artists and if there were less vendors, it kind of helped. And that sounds a little wrong or a little terrible, but when you oversaturate the market like that, it gets kind of hard for the attendee to know what to do or buy from. I mean, it, it just, it might feel a little overwhelming at times. Uh, and it's just harder when there's too many of us for anybody to make a significant profit. So I don't know what it was, but this year just was so much better. The vibes were so much better. It was just such a good time. And I, I don't know, I was very happy with it this year. I mean, I know it's a little different for me because I have friends and family that live in the town that this con is at and all that. But I just know when you have a small, a smaller event, having too many artists and vendors for everyone to look at or whatever, it kind of overwhelms the attendee. And I've heard that from multiple people that I see at cons on a regular and friends who are attendees all the time. So it just kind of makes sense that this year was a little better because there was just less of us there. And I know it's a business and the con has to run their business. We all are running a business and it is what it is. Just sometimes it's relieving when it's just easier for us to be able to make a profit and do well with our business. To wrap this video up, I, I do plan on going to the con again next year. I do think it was better this year, better than a few years before. If you are local to Florida, I'd say give it a shot. You know, you still wanna to try to keep expenses down if you can, but it was a good time this year. It was very successful. Financially, uh, just general positivity, good vibes. I mean, it was a good time also. So I know some people have a different outlook on it. Everyone's experience is different, like I always say. But I know for me, it was well, it was, it did, I did well, I did really good. And a couple of my friends who were in the same role, we all did pretty good. But again, that's not everybody. So you gotta take this with a grain of salt, honestly. I'm definitely gonna return. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, my next video is Collective Con. I am recording this after Collective Con because I had to re-record this. But that would video will be next. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I hope you guys continue to do so. So, see you guys next time.